Mr. Beast just got exposed once again, and this time it actually could be the end. So if you guys aren't aware of what's been going on with Mr. Beast recently, there's been tons of different allegations against him, including the Lunchly situation, his apparent faking videos, and debatably the most important of them all being the Ava Chris Tyson situation, as Ava Chris Tyson has gotten exposed for being a predator. However, obviously Mr. Beast hasn't really talked about the situation much, and people would begin to speculate that Mr. Beast actually knew about this all along and just didn't do anything about it. And that brings us to where we are today, where Rosanna Pancino, probably the biggest D1 Mr. Beast hater of all time, would upload yet another video about the entire situation, with Dogpack404 once again, who was the guy who initially exposed Mr. Beast, and they would be leaking over a thousand messages between Mr. Beast and Ava Chris Tyson, allegedly exposing that Jimmy knew all along. So make sure you guys drop a like on this video, let's try to hit a thousand likes, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and let's check this out. Hey guys, it's Ro. So, new up Update, I have received thousands of leaked messages from an official Mr. Beast work chat. These are all just their work chats from 2020 to about 2021 on Telegram. I verified the legitimacy of these chats with multiple former employees and let me tell you, they are absolutely insane. I've done my best to censor the messages for you in this YouTube video, but I just want you to know that the actual chats are uncensored and I just wanted to give you guys a warning. Also, I wanna give you a quick trigger warning some of these messages touch on sensitive topics like essay, anti-Semitism, incest, and one message even allegedly contains a sexually explicit photo of a 13-year-old child. Yeah, this is going to be absolutely insane. Now, I do want to mention that we can't be 100% certain that these DMs are credible because we just have the word from a couple different people, including the Mr. Beast employees, Dogpack404, and also Rosanna. However, it is a very real possibility. I'd probably give it about a 90% chance of all of it being true. But yeah, anyways, let's see some of these DMs. This is gonna be absolutely crazy. John Smith in mm -hmm. these chat logs is Mr. Beast. We've had this confirmed by multiple former employees. He mm -hmm. changed his name on Telegram at some point after. I'll just show some messages to show that John Smith is Jimmy. Here he's saying he got exposed after Keemstar called him a simp on Twitter. And then here he gets tagged as Jimmy by someone else. Of course I knew that. Every time I text Keem about drama, he tells me to f off and that he's known for 23 hours. So now that we know that Jimmy's John Smith, I'm gonna get to the messages starting with the sexually explicit uh, photo of an alleged 13 year old. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Oh, this isn't a work chat. So Ava Tyson sends a photo of a young looking girl in a sheer top. Ivanka Trump when she was 13. Yeah, and the message reads, so this photo is allegedly of Ivanka Trump when she was 13. Ava thought that this was possibly a 13 year old and she's posting it in a work chat. Now, even though Mr. Beast might have not even replied to this picture, he definitely saw it because this was literally in his work chat. And it's even more crazy that Ava Tyson would even think of posting this. And that Mr. Beast would be okay enough with it if this work chat got out like it did now and everything was 100% confirmed to be them, literally every single person in that chat could be in serious trouble. Mr. Beast would even be talking to Ava in the chat, sending numerous different animes and shows that are very suggestive with obviously underage characters, saying I bet Chris Tyson would like this show. June of 2021, he sends a message of an anime called Higgy Hero or Higgy Hero. It says, I bet Chris would love this show. Why? What's this show about? Well, it's interesting that you ask because this show is about a romantic relationship between a 26 year old salary man and a 17 year old high school runaway. It's well known online to be a controversial anime. Uh, and this anime is based on even more explicit novels that, that go uh, into the details of this romantic relationship between a uh, adult and an underage girl. <gasps> So Jimmy in the chats is saying, I bet Chris would love this show because it's yeah. right up her alley. Why do you think Chris would love that show, Jimmy? Why specifically this anime out of all animes out there? Like my gosh, dude, the fact that Mr. Beast would actually say this, it's like he should know that if these messages get leaked at all, he's gonna get some major backlash for this. And I mean, like now he is, and it took them a little while, but it's just crazy that he would say stuff like this, especially with the reputation that he has. Like, he must have trusted the people in this group chat with his life. Because, I mean, this kind of stuff that he's saying could be easily detrimental to his whole career. Here's some chat messages talking about Digimon, how the first episode of season five is a beach episode, so much boobies, and ah, if you don't follow the plot, Food Wars is just food and porn. Oops, she clarifies, underage porn. Oh. They're like, hey, we're all second year high schoolers, and now we are having or 
Chasms, this steak is so bomb. Bro, what? Dude, that is absolutely insane, bro. Now I see why Mr. Beast seemingly didn't reply to that. Like, he got exposed for apparently knowing about this stuff a long time ago and never said anything. He's allegedly been trying to cook up a response for this for months. And now I can 100% see why. There's literally no way he comes back for this. If these messages are proved to be true, Ava is a creep and Mr. Beast is also a creep. Oh my gosh, dude. One thing that really bothers me is that when you look at the dates of these chats, this is when Jimmy was already mainstream. This is when his videos are getting millions of views. He's claiming to be like really family friendly. He's working with a lot of creators like myself who had family friendly brands. And so just reading through these, that these chats are happening the same time is really disturbing. Some of Jimmy's videos from this time period have over 300 million views each and they're targeted at children. And he's very aware of his child audience. This is his choice to hang out with people like this and talk this way in private while simultaneously creating content for children. I have to agree that it's absolutely disgusting that Mr. Beast was saying this kind of stuff in this group chat while simultaneously creating content every single day for kids. And I think around this time, Mr. Beast had to have had around 50 million plus subscribers. And like I said prior, saying stuff like this whenever you have that big of a platform is just a recipe for disaster because if one person leaks these messages, his entire career could fall apart. Now it makes sense why Mr. Beast hasn't responded to the allegations about him knowing about a the Chris Tyson from the beginning, because now we know that he clearly did, assuming all these messages are actually real. The proof that Jimmy knew about Tyson's behavior is right here. Yeah, now this is just it. This is just all the proof that we ever need. If Ava actually sent this and Mr. Beast somehow didn't know about it, I would be absolutely shocked. It's a little kid. Mm -hmm. I'm in class right now and you made me hurt you naughty whore. He's like, he's like five. That's disgusting. Oh. What's problematic about this is that Ava has access to so many children through Mr. Beast, Mr. Beast right. Gaming, Mr. Beast Discord, and she's posting about children referencing sexually explicit topics. Right. It's just really dangerous because the majority of viewers, I feel like, on YouTube are youth. Whoever he's working with, who's in his orbit, then also has access to a ton of these kids. You have to be really thoughtful about people that you work with and have in your inner circle because they're also representing you and your brand. And he definitely knew. I mean, this has yeah, been ongoing. Yeah, the warning signs are all there. And, and the person that Ava is accused of grooming she met through Mr. Beast. Yeah, the fact that Ava was apparently Snapchatting underage fans is also insane. That's something that I personally didn't even think would have happened. But now that it's actually been brought up by them, and it is possible that she has been talking to underage fans on Snapchat, it's just absolutely disgusting. And again, there's no way Mr. Beast didn't know about this. If he was actually professional about his work, then he definitely wouldn't surround himself with people like Ava. And sure, he did get rid of Ava after she finally got exposed for all of this stuff. Or, you know, at least fired her from Mr. Beast LLC, but knowing what he clearly knew through these past few years, he should have definitely fired her much sooner, and if anything, it might have helped him avoid any possible controversies, like what he's been getting exposed for recently. All right, I don't want to show you this, but if you say you want to see it- I want to do this, so okay, I'm going to read yeah, it. This is the most disgusting one by far. Well, actually, the CP was probably more disgusting, but this is- the hardest message to read from Ava Tyson in these messages. Oh my gosh, being your little brother would be so fucking hot. I'd hold my ear to your door at the odd hours of the night, hoping and praying to catch the soft moans of my little naughty sister. I would creep my eye to the under door crack and watch the shadows of you move. During family movie night, I'd wear your panties beneath my PJ. Oh my goodness, okay, hold on. <laughs> During family movie night, I'd wear your babies beneath my PJs and just think of worshiping my big sister's smelly feet. I'd sit down below you and tickle your feet and play with you, enticing you to wrestle and touch me. I'll get a butter purposely, and when your foot nudges it slightly, I'll act coy and shy away. You'll tease me and ridicule my small, teeny boy penis, and afterwards, I'll masturbate furiously to those as a fond memories. How the hell could Jimmy say he doesn't know about his best friend when he's posting this 
in the chat with him that he's actively a part of. Yeah, this might be one of the most insane things that we've ever seen from this entire situation. It's going to be extremely hard for Mr. Beast to dispute all of these allegations against him, especially now that we know all of this stuff. Honestly, I think his best bet for all of this is to try and say that all of this is just fake messages. Although, I don't know how he's going to prove that whenever there's clearly a lot of people that worked for him that confirm that these are actually real. Therefore, if Mr. Beast somehow confirms that these messages are real, this could very easily be the end of Mr. Beast, which is just absolutely insane. I mean, we saw what happened with the EDP situation. Whenever he got caught for being a predator, his channel instantly got banned from the platform. However, the only thing I really fear from all of this is that because obviously Mr. Beast makes YouTube so much money, they probably won't actually ban him. Although other than that, his reputation will pretty much be entirely destroyed. But in the end though, this is the newest update on the entire Mr. Beast situation. It's clear to say that with each new piece of evidence that we get, Mr. Beast just continues to look more and more bad, and in the very near future, the entire Mr. Beast situation could come crumbling down. Despite that though, thank you all so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed, do be sure to drop a like. Let's try to hit a thousand likes. And also, please check out see if you're subscribed, because I post videos like this every around one to four days, and subscribing is absolutely free. Anyways, I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.